Okay, Dumas, country biker here. It's just been Christmas and uh, Ludwig got some mirrors. Well, hello, hello, hello. It's been a while. Uh, according to the date on my bike, why it needs the date, I don't know. It's the 28th of December and uh, probably going to put this out on New Year's Day just to say Happy New Year to you all. Um, I haven't been out for a while. Had some sort of norovirus which uh, seems to have laid low the England cricket team at the moment too. And then that got some complications following it so I had two weeks of being quite ill and lost half a stone just didn't feel like riding but females are much the stronger sex my wife had it for about 12 hours and went back to work she didn't even have a day off just shows you the difference <laughs> that's why I obey she who must be obeyed so I've got a couple of things in the pipeline uh, over the next week or two a uh, couple of experiments things to try out which I'll probably do in January so you might want to subscribe hit the notification button and all that stuff very much appreciated but today I'm trying out these uh, new mirrors that um, well, they're mine, I got them for Christmas, but you know, they're on Ludwig. Double take mirrors. I've seen them a lot on uh, Itchy Boots. She's dropped her bike a few times and I've noticed that they never break. And um, so, you know how it is. I thought they look good. They look adventure -y. So uh, I asked for some of those. Not, not cheap though. and uh, fitted them today well what are we here it's Christmas literally Christmas so for Christmas Ludwig got some double take mirrors now you buy these individually so that's one mirror and that's a second mirror you have to buy two of them and they're very expensive so that's why you got them for Christmas basically a ram mount system so you've got a ram mount arm a ball mount that goes onto the bike and then the mirror has got a ball mount on it they're designed so that if the bike falls over they're supposed to be very very tough the problem with the ktm 790 adventure is that one side and i can't remember which it is is a left hand thread so you can't just put these straight on because they're just a standard thread so you need some adapters so i got the oxford mirror adapters one of them is just a straightforward extension and the other one is a right hand to left hand thread converter can't remember which one it's which or which side goes which it doesn't really matter you could just use the converter and leave the other side as it is but then it would be a bit shorter it might look a bit odd so let's use both of them so that's the oxford mirror adapters you can see we have a pair of double take mirrors infinitely adjustable and should be pretty good if if you drop the bike because they will have some give in them you can adjust the tightness on there so that they don't move in the wind so the first job is to remove the uh, the old mirrors so you undo the locking nut which seems to be a 14 millimeter on that side then i think that's the anti-clockwise one now i'm gonna have to remove the screen because the screen is in the way that I couldn't do it so I'll just remove the screen hang on so if you've not removed the screen before it's just a single T30 Torx which holds the screen on just don't do it it uh, comes off so that you can get at the mirror left hand mirror just loosen that nut and it's just an ordinary thread just don't do that and repeat as per the other side The mirror adapter goes in on both sides. You could put some thread lock on that. I'll probably put some blue thread lock on that at some point, but for now, 
just for test purposes. Just loosely tighten them. Just good enough to... Can remember that one's a left hand thread, so it goes that way. So you can now see that they've just gone in as a standard right hand thread. Obviously that's not how they're going to be. You can adjust these infinitely. Once they're tightened up, you don't have to worry about which way things are pointing because you can tighten it up on the clamp there. Likewise on here. It doesn't actually matter where the mirror finishes. You might think, oh, it's pointing the wrong way. It really won't matter because you can adjust this any direction, any way that you like until you're happy with what you've got. Okay, just do a little test that they don't hit the screen. There's a clearance on that side. You can always adjust them anyway, just by loosening them and moving them around. Incidentally, some people, I don't know how true it is, have claimed that their buffeting problems have been caused by the stock mirrors and that fitting these has cured it. Although I've only been out for about 10-15 uh, minutes, I can't feel any difference. It feels just the same as before to me. But then again, um, I found this Puig screen had cured most of my buffeting issues. It seems to be such a subjective thing, buffeting. So I can't say that uh, double take mirrors have cured my buffeting. Having said that, I've not yet finalised where I'm going to uh, position them because they're on uh, ram mounts so there's a lot of flexibility in how you can put them but I've got them quite sort of more vertical than the old mirrors and they're very good when you're going along but you don't have to look down or anything just look side to side and very clear view behind no worries I'll just go a little bit faster down this stretch of road here and see whether there's any whether I can actually notice anything turbulent wise it's just a national speed limit road and there's a car there so I won't be able to get too fast but let's see the old quick shifter yeah well I've got no buffeting I've got my visor open and um, I haven't really got any buffeting so inconclusive is all I can say really I suppose if you've tried riding with your mirrors off I wouldn't recommend that by the way and I'm not sure it's legal and discovered that uh, the mirrors are causing your buffeting and these might be a solution I don't know I got them really because well you know it's Christmas it's an adventure bike get some adventure mirrors They were a bit off point when I first sat on the bike because uh, they're higher up and there's quite a lot to them. But as I've been riding even for 15 minutes I've forgotten all about them and just used them as before. I guess really what I should have done is left one of the original mirrors on on one side and put one of these on the other side but uh, hell I couldn't be bothered. Oh it's so nice just to be out. Look, we even got a bit of sunshine. The only thing is the roads haven't dried yet so they're full of salt and water but I feel so much better in myself and stronger and uh, sitting in that house for any longer than now I was going absolutely stir crazy so I'm really glad I got out I do love this bike Moisture in the TFT aside it's the best bike I've ever had for me wouldn't say everybody obviously but uh, Lovely day, lovely day. Flooded fields. Some water. Oh, that's the other thing, it's rained for about three weeks. Yeah. Okay, so, apart from the fingerprints where I was uh, <laughs> mounting them earlier and forgot to clean them, um, I'd say they're just as clear as uh, the stock mirrors, they're fine from the, um, a visual perspective. Uh, you can probably see that there's quite a lot of extension on there because this is a left hand thread or um, reverse thread I think they're called in other parts of the world. So you have to put an adapter on that side. You could get away without putting one on that side but I kind of have a symmetry thing going on so I like to 
be symmetrical so this one's just an extender they came as a pack you probably saw in the earlier part of the video I seem to remember hope I mentioned that so uh, yeah they're just ram mounted um, just as I set off I've left it slightly loose but not too loose they don't move in the wind but you can just adjust them I've now got them to where I'm happy you could lean them right over you could have them vertical um, they seem to be very good where they are now I quite like them and if the bike should fall over they will hopefully give at this ball joint here and this ball joint here and not break that's the idea of them isn't it after all so not a lot to say I do like them very simple idea run mount mirror run mount uh, ball joint on the handlebars let's just hope that uh, if the bike ever does go down they do their job but I'm quite satisfied with them as I'm riding around okay that's it for me and my field Kodja Biker is out happy new year oh what's occurring hey hey what's up there